All right, man. Nice grill, by the way. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Um, so the game, ups and downs that you guys went through. Yeah. Did you all have a sense that this thing was going to turn eventually? Or did, was there any trepidation on the sideline at all during that time? No, I don't think there was any, any lack of uh, belief, any um, – any heads down I think we were all still up we knew uh, you know the fourth quarter is is where it's won and lost um, nobody wins the game in the first half or even the third quarter so we was gonna keep fighting and um, offense JJ Hester came up with a big play deep deep ball set our offense up a uh, good field position went ahead and got points and we, we finished sorry kind of seemed like everything's flipped after the Hester play yep. what what did that do to the sideline? They give you guys a little bit more belief than maybe you already have. Yes, it did. It did for sure. Well, especially myself included. Um, once I saw JJ come over with that big catch, I knew I knew what was going to happen. Um, but yes, that that increased the belief for sure. What, you, what was your perspective on Kip's play? Hey, Kip, Kip, man, that's a guy who 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 doesn't have an on and off switch. He's always on. He always comes ready to practice to play. Every single day, you're going to get the same Kip. So what Kip did today, great play, huge play. And that was destined for him to make that because he puts in he puts in the time, the preparation, the work, and it, it paid off. And huge play by Kip. The way that that fourth quarter goes down for you guys, can it galvanize the team? Can it? Is it bigger than just a, just one win? I know you guys always say every week's big, but can this thing flip a season the way that you guys won? Totally. I, I believe wins can flip a season. Um, this was a must win. You, you have to win this. If, if you don't, you're going to go into a bye week. You're going to sit on the L. You're going to be 3-2, and two, and you're going to go into the Red River like that, with your last game being a loss. So this was a, a must win, a got to win. We came out here, we did it. We'll go into the bye week uh, with great preparation, uh, much, better, much better than we did last year on the bye week. So uh, we'll, we'll be ready for our next opponent. Thanks, Bill. Did, did the bye week come like at a good time, though, injury-wise for you guys as a whole, just – with the team just when I mean, you look at that availability list and it's it's a who's who on offense and a you know you got started on defense too that are out was it just good timing to at least try to get some of those guys back even if they can yeah great timing you know you you, you play the three non-conference games and you you play tennessee a uh, great tennessee team um and you play a, a good Auburn team you know so um that's two hard games right there especially you know when the sec now you know every game is not a week off <laughs> so um Yes, I think the bye week came at a great time, you know, get our, get our bodies back, get, get a lot of those guys who, who are injured and couldn't be with us today back and, and healthy before the next game. Thanks, Billy. Sir.